more, Ira. <laughs> Jamie, can you please take us through that final sequence, uh, transition, Marcus misses, you get the rebound, come down, transition, thought process on that shot at that time, please. My thought process was go for the win, which I did. Um, missed the shot, but uh, I'm taking that shot. Uh, my teammates like the shot that I took, so I'm living with it. Jimmy, you played every second of this game. Was that, did you know that you were going to do that going in? And just kind of what was your mentality entering tonight's game seven? No, I didn't know. But uh, with every second that I did play, uh, I feel like I, I should have done more. Could have done better to turn sure this win. I mean, ain't nothing you can do about it now. But uh, I just really, really, really appreciate the guys that I get to go to battle with. And um, I'm grateful for those guys. Jimmy Spose said many times that there's not going to be any excuses offered, but how frustrating is it that so many of you guys were dealing with injuries toward the end? Uh, very frustrating. Uh, we we want to win just like everybody else. Everything we put into this game day in and day out uh, is, is, is towards winning, and that's the only thing that we care about here in the Miami Heat organization. Um, but I I like it because we can learn from it. I can learn from it uh, as much as anybody else. And in, in my book, uh, I just think I I can't have bad games. I, I play like trash a couple, and um, I think that was the series. Kyle, I know, like Jimmy, never any excuses, but now that it's over, are you able to share how limited you were from the hamstring when you did play the last couple of weeks? I was out there, and, uh, you know, I was out there playing. That's all that really mattered at the end of the day. You know, we don't make excuses. You know, um, you know, we, we tip our hats to the Boston Celtics. Congratulations, you know, you know, uh, Eastern Conference champions. And, uh, you know, they, they beat us. And, uh, you know, for, for ourselves, it's, it is what it is. We go back to the drum board and back to the bottom of the totem pole like everybody else besides two teams right now. Jimmy, how would you sum up the series that you just had? Not good enough. Um, I didn't do my job. Um, stats don't mean anything. As I say over and over again, the Boston Celtics did what they came out here to do um, in this series. And I learned that I have to be better and I will be better. So, you know, back to the lab. Um, I get the opportunity to work out with these guys over the summer. And uh, we will come back better than ever. As you look forward now, what do you think you guys need to cross the threshold? Um, figure out a way to be consistent. I think I think we had enough. I think we do have enough. Um, it sucks because like you don't know who's gonna be on a roster any given year. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to play with the guys that I did have the opportunity to play with, and it's been like that every year that I've played in the league. Uh, so we had enough. Um, next year, we will have enough, and we're gonna be right back in the same situation, and uh, we're gonna get it done. Jimmy, as as one of your all star running mates and a man of speaking, what did Bam show you in this game and in this series? Uh, what he's capable of um, when he has the the opportunity to be that guy. Um, I've said it all year long. He he's the engine that makes us run on both ends of the floor. He does so many things well. I'm very grateful to be able to play with an individual like him, <clears throat> along with so many other people on our roster. But I think the the more and more comfortable that Bam gets that he knows that he's a star in this league. Um, you know, you can't put a cap and a ceiling on, on, on his talent and his abilities. So as long as he's comfortable, he's, he's going to be hell whenever he's out there on the floor. Kyle, you worked all regular season. Uh, you, you shaped your season a certain way to get ready for this. And I know it sounds obvious, but it, I imagine it has to be frustrating for, for that to happen and then for your injury to come when it did. Can you just take us inside a little bit of, on your emotions about being frustrated given the whole season and then, you know, getting hurt early in the first round? Um, it's been a, a wild season for me individually, um, you know, and my personal life has been, you know, uh, it was a little bit different for me this year. Um, but... Uh, I, I'm given the opportunity to play basketball, and anytime I get a chance to play, I'm I'm, I'm really happy to do it. Uh, I, I will never make an excuse about injuries, never. Um, I was out there. 
Jimmy was hurt. You know, Tyler was hurt. You know, Tuck was hurt. They had guys hurt. Um, you know, I wish I would have been able to play a little bit better at a higher level, but I didn't. And uh, it just adds fuel. You know, uh, you don't know how many more opportunities you will have to get back to this. And so for me, to be up personally, honestly, it was a waste of a year. And uh, then I only played to win championships. And so um, it was fun. You know, I appreciate the guys, I, my teammates, and I appreciate the opportunity. But for me, it was like it's a waste of a year. You're not playing for a championship. You're not, you know, win a championship is a waste of a year. Kyle, just to, to follow, though, um, going into your second season, now that you kind of know what to expect with everything here, how much do you think that'll hit that help you hit the ground running next season now that it's not all new to you like it was this year uh, I think we're, I think it helps I think that everything helps um, you know having some continuity with the team and understanding you know who you're going to be there with and you know tendencies and understanding the offense um, terminologies defensive schemes offensive schemes um, emotions uh, you know personalities it definitely helps and uh, you know we look forward to the opportunity of getting better and over the summer and, and getting back to this opportunity uh, next year Jimmy I know how much respect you have for Tatum coming into the series what sets his game apart right now he just he does everything shoot the ball um, can play in a pick and roll he passes the ball incredibly well um, gets out in transition, um, and he's a he's a superstar, and he he deserves that. They deserve the win, and um, I wish him the best moving forward. But uh, he's one hell of a player, that's for damn sure. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you. <coughs> thank you. All right, I'm glad I'm